MLPA kits are often revised and customized. The most up-to-date information comes from the manufacturer of the kit or chemistry. Use the panel editor to verify that the panel conforms with the information supplied with the kit. Minor changes can easily be added to the panel editor by right-click and add, edit, or delete alleles. The control column of the table is used to designate the probe type. A negative 1 in the control column indicates this is a quality control probe. These are excluded from the normalization and copy number calculations. 1 is used for internal control probes and 0 for exon probes. Many lab SOPs include water controls to check for contamination. After verifying the integrity of a water control, these samples should be disabled so that they do not skew results. Simply right-click on the water control sample, select Disable, and input a comment. Then select Project and Auto Run. After the project analysis is, is complete, the MLPA analysis application is directly accessed from the main menu, omitting the error-prone human transfer of data from one software package to another. Based on your lab's validation studies, select the desired MLPA analysis settings. The default settings are commonly used values. Radio buttons and checks are used to select analysis method, adjust by control probe, and quantification options. MLPA ratio on the left side of the dialog box and MLPA ratio to copy number on the right side of the dialog box may be customized by typing in the values. Let's take a look at an overview of the MLPA analysis window. Across the top of the MLPA analysis window are icons for selecting the number of ratio plots to display, analysis parameters, the printer, and the control selection and save options. Samples are listed by file name in the left column of the page. Trace overlay of the red reference and the blue sample is located in the upper center of the page, followed by the dosage histogram and ratio plots. Color coding is used to indicate the type of fragment represented by a plot point. Blue equals a control fragment. Green equals a mutation probe within the MLPA ratio. Red equals a mutation probe outside of the MLPA ratio. To the far right side of the MLPA analysis screen contains the linked report table listing the probes, reference sample, peak sizes, and experimental samples. The current report table selection is set to display loss or gain in the report. The control sample is listed at the top. This is the sample with the least variation. If desired, analysts may use the drop-down menu to change the control sample, or they may select Control icon to activate a pop-up box and select files to use in a synthetic control. The report table lists the probes, reference samples, size of each fragment, and the experimental samples. The report table may be customized using the report icon. Duplications and deletions can be detected in four ways. In the electropherogram with increased or decreased peak height in the trace overlay where the reference trace appears in light red behind the blue sample trace. In the dosage histogram where the histogram bar appears larger for duplications, smaller or absent for deletions. Absent if homozygous, shorter if heterozygous deletions. In the ratio plot, where plot points represent the peak height or area of the reference versus the sample. Color coding is used to indicate the type of fragment represented by the plot point. Color probes are blue, mutation probes that are within the specified MLPA range are green, and red indicates a mutation probe that is outside the acceptable range. When a data point is selected with the mouse, as in this sample, it is yellow or use the report table where peak ratio or simple loss gain information can be displayed. All frames in the MLPA analysis window are interlinked. For example, clicking on a cell in the report table will highlight the sample in the sample list, the peak in the overlay trace, 
and the plot point in the ratio plot. Clicking on the data point in the ratio plot will zoom in on that area of the electropherogram, as it has here with Exxon 45. The final report contains several customization options. To include a full trace overlay in the final report, use the mouse to zoom out and click the printer icon. Select the desired print options from the dialog box. You may select to print all samples or selected samples and sort the probe by size or by name. If a synthetic control was used in the analysis, select the option to list samples used for the synthetic control. Statistics information includes the number of probes, the mean, and standard deviation. This is used by many labs as a quality control feature. If print summary is selected, the summary table will be located at the end of the MLPA report pages. Display quality control fragments will list the and highlight the quality control fragments in the report table. The final report includes a header, trace overlay, report table, sample statistics, peak ratio plot, and the conclusion footer for authorization date and initials. The header obtains institution name and technician from the user management and all other information from the project settings used in analysis of the data. In this example, the analysis was done at General Hospital by Analyst 1 using GeneMarker 1.90 at 357 on August 3, 2010. The panel, control file, analysis type, normalization method, quantification type, classification range, and report value type for the project are all included in the header. The trace overlay and report table display the results of the MLPA analysis. In this example, the files are sorted by name in the report table. Authorization signatures are entered in the conclusion box by the appropriate individuals. Alternatively, some labs prefer to display just the region of interest in the trace overlay view. To do this, use the mouse to zoom in on the area of interest for an enlarged view of this section in of the electropherogram before selecting the print preview. For example, in this sample, the files are sorted by size in the report table and exons 45, 46, 47, and 48 contain heterozygous deletions. The zoomed view provides a more detailed view of this region of the trace overlay. MLPA analysis with gene marker provides accurate rapid DNA fragment analysis. There is no need for data transfer. The MLPA analysis is linked directly from the main screen. You may customize parameters to meet SOP and kit requirements and visualize duplications and deletions easily in trace overlays, dosage histogram, plot ratio, and report tables. The final patient report summary may be customized per lab requirements. For additional details on MLPA analysis and gene marker, please use the link to user manual. Access each chapter, select from an index of terms, or search for a specific term. Thank you for your interest in MLPA analysis with gene marker. For additional information, please visit our website at www.softgenetics.com or send us an email, information at softgenetics.com. Thank you.